Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys a real quick tutorial video on how to create your own scenery using World Editor. The link is in the description below if you don't already have it. It's free, so without further to do, let's get started. Okay, so this is the first page that will show up when you open World Editor. It is basically your whole custom scenery folder all right here. So the first step here is to click on new scenery package just like that and at the bottom it is going to show untitled. Simply click on that and now you can name it whenever you want. In this case I am going to name it A Charles Dunn. No idea how to spell that but I don't really care. Now I'm going to click on open scenery package just like that. At first it's not going to show anything but don't worry guys. Simply click on file and now import from airport scenery gateway. There you go. And now simply type in the airport you are at. Now I'm going to quickly type in the airport code for Char Charleston Yeager. Now that's CR no C K C R W. My bad guys. I'm going to click on Charleston Yeager. Now I'm going to simply click on next. Just like that. Now click on the recommended one and click on import packs just like that give it a sec to load up and now here is the airport right here so in this case now I want to add some grass to the scenery so the first step here is to click on your libraries and now here are all of your libraries that you have in your custom scenery now in this case I want to download grass so I'm gonna click on fly agi vegetation now here I can insert grass into these sceneries. Now I'm going to simply pick one of these grasses. I really like this dark grass right here. As you can see, it's it looks just like that. Now I want to insert it right in here. Now to do that, just click somewhere in here on the edge just like that. And now just keep clicking until a line goes makes a circle all the way around the area you want grass to be so I'm just gonna go along the edge here of the concrete pavement because I want it right here in this grassy area right by the concrete area now just continue going around this whole the circle you decided to put your grass in or whatever you want it to put in continue going along just like that click by click might take a sec you can delete and redo it just by simply clicking delete right there and now here you go I have a circle all the way around this area that I won't grass in now simply click on enter and there you go it is inserted what you have wanted to put oh and one other thing if there are ever red lines anywhere you cannot cross those or else it will not work just saying so there you go I have now inserted grass here, there are no red lines going through it, it is in the space I want it to be. So before we go and launch X-Plane 11, now all we need to do is click on file and click on save. You need to do this step or it will not work. Now I have saved it, now all you have to click on is export scenery pack, just like that. So there might be a few warnings here. Now, I'm going to quickly say wave warning and proceed because I am not worried about that. Just like that. And now I have grass inserted into Charleston Yeager and this is going to show in X-Plane 11. So let's real quickly close this and boot up X-Plane 11. Okay, so here we are at Charleston Yeager. X-Plane has now loaded up and as you guys can see, there is grass where we inserted grass and it looks amazing. It is really that simple. So this is going to conclude today's video. If you want to see me dive deeper into how to create these sceneries, like how to download ortho for the airport, hit the like button down below because if we hit 30 likes on this video, I will make a part two on how to make your own custom scenery. So thanks for watching and stay safe. Peace.